next decade, the world needs to produce more than 40% more food with less land, less water and energy while reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Feeding an extra 1 billion people over the next 15 years and a further 1 billion by 2050, while already today 1 billion people in the world go hungry, are among the greatest challenges facing the world today and will most assuredly and relentlessly drive the sustainability agenda, which is a principal focus of this presentation during this and later decades. And it is an agenda that is not a law that to which businesses across the world are not only responding, but actually proactively driving it. Unilever, as one of the world's largest food manufacturers, has recently committed to sourcing all of its agricultural raw materials sustainably by the end of this decade. Walmart has described it as a single biggest business opportunity of the 21st century and the next source of competitive advantage. While the World Economic Forum has concluded that companies that take the lead in sustainability will be market makers rather than market takers. And market makers rather than market takers is what we must also have as our goal. As our agri-food sector seeks in this decade to grow output, exploit emerging opportunities and expand exports by 50%. And our green image will be central to achieving that goal. Indeed, our customers already recognize our natural advantages. We can point, for example, to the decision by McDonald's to choose an Irish beef farm as its flagship farm for the whole of Europe. Our open spaces, our green fields, our supportive climate. And yet, as sustainability becomes uh, more and more defined by how we manage critical resources. Our customers, whether they're retailers, food manufacturers, or food service operators, have told us clearly in research that being green and natural is no longer sufficient. There are others who claim that space also. We must demonstrate it and prove it as well. And that too was a sentiment emerging from Pathways for Growth, as David Bell and Mary Shellman asserted the importance of our brand reputation and the need to show what Irish food and drink stands for. And using the working title come see us, we're open for inspection. They highlighted how in preparation for living up to that claim, Irish food and agriculture companies must take to heart the need for sustainability and transparency in food production. This will be critical to supporting that part of our brand reputation that states we are natural and we can prove it. And there is increasing clarity as well around the methodology that we may employ in order to demonstrate it and prove it. Sustainability can be defined as the capacity of this generation to meet the needs of the present without compromising the capacity of future generations to meeting theirs. As such, it extends across the full life cycle of the product, covering each step of the supply chain and addressing the key areas such as carbon, water, biodiversity. And so, over the last 18 months, and using the infrastructure we had developed for our quality assurance schemes, which have 40,000 members right across the country, we have begun to integrate the methodology of sustainability into those schemes, further shifting their emphasis towards environmental assurance. And starting with our B scheme last year, we started to measure different production systems right across the scheme, seeking to identify the strongest performing areas and those with the room for improvement, and also seeking to have independent certification and credibility that would build credibility around uh, the schemes and, and what we were setting out to do for sustainability. And so we chose uh, as our partner the Carbon Trust, which is a not-for-profit making organization in the UK that provides advice on carbon, on certification and accreditation. It has a, an impressive portfolio of clients, as we can see here. It is an established track record in the food industry and therefore enjoys the kind of international recognition which we were requiring for our project. The scope of the beef project, we decided to begin at the very start of the supply chain, focusing at the farming element, where 75% of the emissions arise prior to moving along to the processing and packing, packing stages. And working on the advice of the Carbon Trust, uh, we commenced a pilot program uh, last year, uh, working uh, with on a detailed, undertaking detailed audits on 200 farms within our beef 
quality assurance scheme that were representative of all of the production systems across the scheme. And in close collaboration with TAGISC, we worked to develop a carbon footprint calculation model utilizing data from the live computerized AIM database in respect of each of the individual farms we were auditing, as well as capturing major inputs and outputs from each one of those 200 farms. Our progress to date is that the methodology and the calculation model were accredited by the Carbon Trust in March. We commenced to roll out the program to all of the 32,000 members of the scheme in May, and we have also commenced at the same time to give feedback to the farmers from that time. As we're rolling out the program, we are auditing uh, up to 500 farms every week, such that by the end of the first 18-month cycle, all farms will have been covered by the end of next year. As we undertake those audits, our focus is on collecting data on the key measures that will provide us with an indicative performance and allow us to provide an, uh, an indicative carbon footprint for each one of the individual farms and feedback to participants on how they can improve their, uh, their performance. This is the first national quality assurance scheme of its type anywhere in the world to include environmental sustainability cr criteria to incorporate an objective assessment of the carbon footprint. Naturally, we want to tell our customers of this unfolding story of how Irish beef is, uh, is evolving, and how we can stand behind what sets Irish beef apart. So we are in the process of informing all of our key customers and briefing them, uh, and we'll have that completed by September. It will, I believe, demonstrate a lead and proactive approach to the issue of sustainability providing a unique and comprehensive assurance that is not provided by anybody else uh, to our customers. It will serve to consolidate relationships and enhance the market profile of Irish beef among our portfolio of customers. We will also be, of course, telling them about the next steps in this, in this process, how we aim to extend the sustainability program across other areas within the scheme, how we intend to further, go further along the supply chain and also uh, to work on other value chains as well. It is said that as much as 40% or at least 40% of the world's economy is derived from biological resources and as much as 80% of the needs of the world's poor. Water too is a critical resource. 70% uh, of it is used in agriculture, in irrigation, and the world is facing scarcity. So we are now working to focus on benchmarking and capturing the performance each and every one of those 32,000 farms uh, to capture their performance on water and biodiversity, to develop a framework for incorporating them into the schemes, again, as with carbon, focusing on measurement and improvement. Similarly, we are proposing to go beyond the, uh, the farm gate, uh, measurement and performance in processing and packaging, just like on farm. And we have actually commenced this process on a pilot basis capturing the processing carbon footprint, working again with the Carbon Trust and with TAGISC, uh, beginning as in the farm model with a sample of processing plants. And our time scale for development is to have the model completed by this September uh, with the accreditation to the PS 2050 standard, to which we are uh, uh, seeking accreditation for all of our uh, elements of the scheme by the, by, by the end of this year. At that stage, we will roll it out to every meat plant in our quality assurance scheme and provide ongoing feedback to companies on how they can improve their carbon score. We're also um, in the process of extending this initiative across other sectors of primary agriculture and starting with dairy. Uh, the recently announced sustainability program by Glanbia uh, involves Borbia with partners, uh, uh, as partners with Glanbia, and where we propose to replicate the work undertaken on beef with the farm element again being the initial focus. Uh, that work will be considerably facilitated by the fact that 8,000 dairy farms are already members of our beef quality assurance scheme, and it, that is nearly half of the total population of dairy farms in the country. And therefore, they are being audited on an 18-month cycle in respect of their beef enterprise. We've been engaging once again with the Carbon Trust on this project, and initially, uh, as, as, as in the case of beef, we will undertake a pilot footprint program of detailed audits on 100 farms in order to develop a carbon calculation footprint model suitable to Irish conditions and get its accreditation. Our timescale for the dairy sector is to complete the pilot footprint program by the end of this year, 
uh, with the methodology and model accreditation coming soon afterwards, and then uh, making the model available for rollout across the entire uh, dairy sector when providing feedback to participants on an ongoing basis. Equally, we are, slides have gone a little bit ahead of me. Uh, we are commencing work on other product areas, um, including other meats, white meats, grain, and horticulture, and we are in discussion with potential partners in each of these primary sectors in order to uh, replicate what we've been doing in the beef and have now commenced in the dairy sector. We will commence work in these sectors in the second half of the year, completing the farm element by the early part of next year and going beyond the farm gate in the second half of 2012 until every farm and food business uh, that we can uh, reach out to is signed up fully to the sustainability agenda and provide us with a unique and comprehensive uh, advantage in the marketplace. Of course, we have to recognize that our environmental performance will be judged not just on the environmental performance of our farms and factories, but also on the quality of our wider environment. Our air quality is amongst the highest in Europe, according to the EPA, with whom we are liaising on this project, and our water quality is also above average, but clearly we cannot take the quality of the wider environment for granted. The, there is a range of environmental metrics uh, on which we are benchmarked by the European Environmental Agency into which the EPA inputs its data, and our positioning on those metrics is clearly going to be fundamental to supporting uh, our, the reputation of our food and drink industry and any claims we wish to make of it. The sustainability agenda today defines and measures what we stand for and what sets us apart. It is an agenda that is grounded in the reality of the increasing pressures on the world's limited resources. And in the marketplace, it is driven more by consumer industries than by consumers. But we must remember, again, that 80% of our exports are, in fact, business to business. Because you can't taste sustainability, and there are other drivers of change in forming consumer choice, as I'm sure we'll learn in the next presentation. And <clears throat> therefore, as John Professor John Quelch also reminded us recently, we must also bear in mind that uh, a brand reputation and a brand building rests on emotional as well as on functional attributes and connectivity. So earlier this year, we set out to identify what those attributes are or might be that might be most appealing, appealing about Irish food and drink in the marketplace. Because we need research to find what moves, matters, motivates people, what defines Irishness in the 21st century, and why people outside of Ireland might prefer our products to someone else's. The study was extensive. It spanned seven countries from the United States to Europe to China. It covered six phases and commenced at the beginning of the year. It involved several hundreds of hours of discussions with consumers, with food buyers and food journalists, as well as online discussion fora. And the overwhelming image of Ireland coming from the research is not surprisingly one of a nation of warm, friendly, welcoming people, a land of green fields, an abundance bestowed by nature, free uh, from the pollution typically associated with mass production. But people actually have a limited knowledge of Ireland. The research was conducted during a period when Ireland was in the headlines for all of the wrong reasons, yet no negative perceptions or feelings were voiced or transferred, and there was virtually no mention of the state in which we as a nation find ourselves today. People take a compassionate, supportive view towards Ireland and towards the Irish people, and they distinguish too between a people and its institutions. The research also revealed that we need to go beyond green and into its heart, where we will find what the research described as a people longing for a purity lost and for an innocence and respite that the notion of a green country can offer. And so we need to think about sustainability to make the consumer connection as something that might be embedded in a nation's overall philosophy, embraced almost as a national mission, connecting and leveraging the relationships between a land and its people. And so we have been working on developing a brand model based on the outputs from that research, uh, where that kind of sustainability agenda can support stories and claims about how we 
as an industry operates, about our respect and care for nature, about our pride in place and tradition, passion for pure ingredients and great food, curiosity and creativity. The, re the research is extensive, it is still being distilled and evaluated. Uh, the outputs are being in input into uh, the development of a brand framework or a brand model, such as in draft form shown in this slide. A brand reputation underpinned by the physical attributes that we've been talking about and values that can make the consumer connection that can ultimately play a part in building customer loyalty. We've also to bear in mind, of course, that Brand Ireland has many dimensions, and so we have been sharing our research and liaison with other outward-facing agencies, such as Tourism Ireland and the IDA Ireland, with Enterprise Ireland and with Fault Ireland. And while our target audiences may differ and our messages are variously tailored, it is the same overall image of Ireland that transcends, frames and informs uh, the overall image uh, that we all have to work with. So whatever route we take to choose uh, to develop a brand reputation for Irish food and drink, it has to be consistent with that overall image for that overall brand that is Ireland itself, so that that overall image and brand itself can also feed into the diff different individual dimensions. As the world continues to grapple with the challenge of climate change and struggles to keep pace with the growth in global demand, this is a time of unparalleled opportunity for our food industry. As David Bell and Mary Shellman of the Harvard Business School wrote last year, Ireland is at an enviable starting point in the race to produce exactly the type of food that a growing number of consumers are demanding. We in this country have always believed that being green and natural is fundamental to our brand image. It is how we have presented ourselves to the world, it's how the world has seen us. And now, as being green and natural assumes a new and more powerful relevance, we have the opportunity to demonstrate and prove it, and in the process, become market makers rather than market takers. Pathways for Growth is founded on the principle of an industry working together as partners, not as competitors, on innovation leading to differentiation in the marketplace, and on brands built around closing the customer feedback loop. The agenda I have set out, set out today about sustainability and supporting our brand reputation and building a brand image for Irish food and drink can, I believe, play an integral role in delivering pathways for growth and the progress of our industry. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.